Hello, this is Gogi from Gogi.in and uh, here is the unboxing and review of Vami Titan 3 from Wicked Leak. Here is the box pack, the Vami Titan 3. This is with a 5.7 inch screen with full HD resolution. It is powered by MT6589 turbo processor clocked at 1.5 GHz, 1 GB RAM, 16 GB storage, 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera, 5 MP front camera, dual SIM support, 3G supported, Wi-Fi, 2G, GPS, Full HD video recording and playback and also comes with a 3200mAh battery. Let's check out this handset. Inside the box you'll find the handset. It's a big handset, 5.7 inches. The battery of 3200mAh capacity. A free flip cover, a nice looking one of a premium quality. A good quality earphone. Here is the closer view of the earplug data cable and power adapter. Here is the big handset, the side view and the rear view. The back panel is made of plastic and uh, it has got this texture and the threading style on the sides. The build quality and the finishing is very good. In fact, this is the Galaxy Note 3 clone. Dedicated button in the center and touch buttons on either sides. On the top, you will find Notification in call speaker, sensors and the front camera of 5 megapixel resolution. The volume rockers on the left side. Power button on the right side. 3.5mm audio jack on the top and micro USB port along with the mic at the bottom. The speaker route and the wicket tick logo on the rear side and the 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash. This is how the front panel looks, it's white color with this design. And now let's open up the battery compartment. This is a dual SIM handset. You can see the dual SIM slots here. The SIM slots are overlapping. There is a normal SIM slot and uh, a micro SIM slot. I've inserted the normal SIM. And here is the micro SIM slot on top of the normal SIM. And on the right, there is the micro SD card slot. I've inserted the micro SD card. The handset weight with battery is 171 grams. Thickness is 8.18 mm. Breadth is 81.32 mm. And the length is over 154.90 mm. When you power on, you get the Wicketic logo. And uh, here is the home screen. The touch is smooth and responsive. Here are the backlit buttons. The viewing angle is good. You can clearly see the icons and the fonts from various angles. Of the 16 GB storage, 4.13 GB is allocated for apps and uh, 9.37 GB as phone storage. And here is the free storage, phone storage and of the 1 GB RAM you get around 361 MB free. You cannot install apps on the external storage. You get this free flip cover with interesting features. The rear side is made of artificial leather. It feels better than this plastic uh, back cover. When the cover is flipped, you get the date and time. And when you open it, the phone will automatically unlock. When the phone is switched off and you open up the flip cover, the handset will automatically unlock. Wi-Fi hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering is supported. This handset also comes with the Air Shuffle application, similar to what we have seen on the Lava Iris 504Q. You just wave your hand and move to the next image, for example when using the gallery. I'll just demonstrate here. When I wave my hand near to the proximity sensor, I can move on to the next image. Since the proximity sensor is used, you need to bring your hand as close as to the proximity sensor for it to work. Let's check out the system information, ARM Cortex-A7 1.5 GHz quad core with Power VRS GX544 MP GPU. The hardware is MT6589T, that's turbo processor, running on the Android 4.2.1 and the screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Here are the sensors, accelerometer, proximity and light sensors. There is no magnetic sensor. The time is 2.58 am, battery at 73% and the temperature at 32 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 4734. 
and to score is 15097 Vilamo HTML5 1572 Metal 561 Dynamark 2 34.0 FPS which seems pretty low and and it supports 5 point multi touch after 25 minutes of running the benchmark applications the battery level dropped by 11% and the temperature is 38 degrees I have connected an external pen drive and as you can see OTG is supported. The camera is with zero shutter delay face detection, it's 13 megapixel and the front camera is 5 megapixel. There is HDR option and the panorama option as you can see. In video mode I'm going to change the video quality to fine and there is also the recording format option you can record videos in 3GP and MPEG4 formats. I am now recording a video and uh, the video was recorded in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. Let's quickly go through the specification. Vami Titan 3 sports a 5.7 inch screen with full HD resolution. It is powered by 1.5 GHz quad core processor. It runs on Android 4.2 with 1GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. The rear camera is of 13 megapixel resolution with LED flash support and the front camera of 5 megapixel resolution. Battery is of a good 3200 mAh capacity. This handset is priced at Rs. 16,990 and also comes with a free flip cover. This is a good buy for the price, however, if you are more into gaming then better avoid this handset because the gaming experience is not that good. For full review sample images and videos visit my website, cookie.in.